In today's logo design tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can we design this logo from very start to the very finish by using Adobe Illustrator. This logo is the combination of two elements, letter G and shield. Now without wasting any time, let's continue with the design process. So first of all in Illustrator, go to file and select new. Set the value of width to 1920 and height 1080 points, then select OK. Now first of all select the pen tool, then click once on the page and to draw a perfect straight line, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and move your mouse cursor towards the right side of the screen like this and again left click. Then to complete the shape, simply press enter on the keyboard. Now this line is very thin. We want to increase its stroke width. For this purpose, select the selection tool, click once on the line and here we have the option for the stroke. Simply select on this drop down menu and select the value to say 3 points and now the line has better visual impact. And now to duplicate this line, simply hold down the alternate key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button on the line and drag your mouse towards the bottom of the screen like this. Again repeat the procedure like this. Now again select the pen tool and this time we want to draw a vertical line. So again click at this position, hold down the shift key and move your mouse cursor towards the bottom of your page like this. And again complete the shape by pressing enter on the keyboard. Now select the selection tool, hold down the alternate key, then hold down your left mouse button and move your mouse towards the right side of your page like this. Now select the direct selection tool, click once on this line and here we have the option for the width and the height. Simply set the value of height to 310 points and press enter. Then select this line and set the value of height to 480 points and press enter. Now we want to place this corner of this vertical line at this corner of this horizontal line. So simply hold down your left mouse button at this line and drag it towards this corner like this. And to have better placement, simply press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area. Then select the selection tool and drag this line towards this anchor point like this. And to reset the page view, simply press Ctrl plus 0 like this. And now we want to place this corner of this smaller vertical line at this corner of this horizontal line. So again drag it towards this point like this. Now drag this horizontal line at this anchor point and this horizontal line at this anchor point. Now it doesn't need the vertical lines. So select this one and press delete on the keyboard. Also select this one and press delete on the keyboard. Now select the polygon tool, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse like this. Now it doesn't need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some different stroke color to differentiate between the parts like this orange color. Now set the value of stroke width to 80 points and now we want to reduce the opacity of this shape. So go to windows and select transparency. Set the value of opacity to 50% and press enter. Now we have to rotate this polygon at 90 degrees. For this purpose, simply select this rotate tool and double click and set the value of angle to 90 degrees, then select OK. Now select the selection tool and place this polygon at this bottom line like this. Now select the scissor tool, click once at this anchor point and again click at this anchor point. And now the shape is divided into two parts. Simply select the selection tool, select this shape and press delete on the keyboard. Now select this shape and we have to place this anchor point at this horizontal line. For this purpose, simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then hold down your left mouse button at this handle 
and drag it towards the line like this. Now select the direct selection tool and click once at this anchor point and you can see that a small circular icon is appearing. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this icon and drag it towards the maximum value like this. Again repeat the procedure with this anchor point, again left click and drag this circular icon up to the maximum like this. Now select the selection tool, again click on this line. Then go to stroke and from the value of caps simply select projecting cap. Now go to object, then go to path and select offset path. Then set the value of offset path to 145, then select OK. Now again select the scissor tool, click once at this anchor point and again click at this anchor point. And again the shape is divided into two different parts. Now select the selection tool, then click once at this part and press delete on the keyboard. Now select this shape and from this menu simply select add anchor point and click at this position to add an anchor point at the shape then select the direct selection tool click once at this anchor point and press delete then select the pen tool click once at this anchor point hold down the shift key and draw a straight line up to this position like this now simply press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area. Now again select add anchor point tool and add an anchor at this position. Then select the direct selection tool. Select this node and press delete on the keyboard like this. And now to reset the page view simply press ctrl plus zero on the keyboard. Then select both of these shapes by holding down the shift key on your keyboard. Go to object then go to path and select outline stroke and then to merge both of these shapes into single part simply go to windows then select pathfinder and select merge now again press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area then select the rectangle tool and hold down your left mouse button at this anchor point and drag your mouse like this then select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once at this shape. Then from the pathfinder menu simply select minus front. And again reset the page view by pressing ctrl plus zero on the keyboard. And simply deselect this shape by clicking on the white area like this. Then select the pen tool and click once at this position. Hold down the shift key and move your mouse cursor towards this position and again click. Then move your mouse cursor towards this position. Hold down your left mouse button and move your mouse cursor like this. Then complete this shape by clicking on this starting node like this. Now select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once on this shape. Then from the pathfinder menu simply select merge. Now it doesn't need these horizontal lines. So simply select these lines with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard like this. And to reduce the size of this logo mark, click once, then hold down the shift key, then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this. Now it's time to write the name of the logo. For this purpose, simply select this tool which says type tool, click once on the page and write the name protec plus now the size of the text is not visible for this purpose simply select the selection tool hold down the shift key then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse like this now if you want to change the font then here we have the option i want to change the font to poppins so simply write the pop-ins and you can see that the menu is appearing. Left click on the font and you can see that the font is changed. Now drag this one at this position and to increase the size simply hold down the shift key then hold down your left mouse button at this handle like this. 
then select both of these parts go to align menu and select horizontal align center like this then deselect both of these shapes by clicking on the white area then select only this text then go to type and select create outlines now right click and select ungroup now simply select this plus and to change its color simply go to this menu and change its color to this gray color you can apply different color palettes or gradients of your own choice and this is for today's logo design tutorial in adobe illustrator if you want to suggest any modifications then you can share your thoughts in the comments section and if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day